JSS2 students, we bless God for his blessings today. It is another beautiful day. We'll be looking at your week six topic, talking about hydraulic and pneumatic machines. That's all we'll be having today, or looking at today, hydraulic and pneumatic machines. Uh, and you will recall that in our last class, we talked about gear ratio and speed. We said the speed is the rate at which gear turn a second. We also talked about the, sorry, we said the gear speed is the rate at which gear turn a second. Then we also talked about gear ratio. So the number of teeth of driven gear or the driving gear, driving or the driver gear divided by the driven number of teeth of gear A, we call it the driver or driving gear divided by the driven. We said the driver or driving gear is the one on which the power of transport of uh, work is built. Then we said the driven one, the one that receives the impact of the force or the receive the transmission of the power from the driver gear. Linking us to today's topic is this gear turning the speed, the rate at which gear turn. These gears are found in our different machines. Some of these machines make use of uh, liquid and some make use of gas. That's what we're looking at today, called hydraulic and pneumatic machine. In this topic, we need to have, in our usual way, look at uh, having a view or look at the objectives for this lesson. We call it the learning objectives. What we intend to achieve in course of this lesson at the end of this lesson, one, you should be able to define hydraulic and pneumatic machines. Two, explain the basic principles of operation of hydraulic and pneumatic machines. Three, give examples of hydraulic and pneumatic machines. Four, state the uses of hydraulic and pneumatic machines. And lastly, list the advantages of hydraulic and pneumatic machines. These are things we intend to achieve today because of this lesson. Now let us go to the business proper, hydraulic machines. Under these machines, there are some things we need to look at. First is hydraulic. It is the flow of fluid, like the water or oil, through pipe under pressure that is being used by machines. Then we have the hydraulic fluid, that is the water or the oil, this liquid I've talked about. They are the hydraulic fluids. Then lastly, hydraulic or hydraulic, hydraulics or hydraulic machine. They are the machine that make use of this fluid that flow under pressure. See, there is a relationship. The hydraulics are the machine that make you these ones make use of this. Then in the process of this flow, this one is flowing, and this is one that's flowing here, and this is the machine that make use of them. So some examples of this hydraulic machine that make use of the flow of this liquid are, or make use of this liquid to do simple job, are the hydraulic jack, the first pump, garden sprinkler, and so many others. We need to look at them one after the other. The first pump, this one is used to pump water from well or oil to drain oil from reservoir. Especially having a place you want to do a job or even your house, water has occupied it, you want to pump the water away mechanically, you use this, not by the use of buckets to be taking up the water. You start the engine and then this pipe here, the water will be drained. Water will be coming and then will be going off. This machine, there's a way it is being connected. This is the, the first pump. It is used also to drill uh, oil from reservoir. Reservoir means where it is being stored. We drill it and we take it to another station to make use of it. That's, this is where the pipes are connected. That's what you can then the two uh, foot valve is here. So when you start it, water is being taken. We have it in our school, the uh, first pump. Then we have another one, the garden sprinkler. This one is used to water the uh, grasses or flowers or sprinkle water on them in the garden. Could be in your farm or whatever, you can make use of it too. But this one is positioned in a particular place, station. So this one has a pipe. What it does is sprinkle water into the air, the water fall down in small droplets or particles and then wet the grasses. This is the garden sprinkler. Then we have another one, the jack, uh, the hydraulic jack. 
This one from the name hydraulic, it makes you that especially this area, the hydraulic runs here, is put inside, runs here. That's a spring that pushes this pole up. And then that spring and the pole, they are connected. There's grease always poured inside. The car uh, lubricant has that particular pole to move up. When you are jacking the air or taking it up and down, this place will be going up, then be able to lift up object. It is used to lift up heavy objects, like a car. When you have a tire of a vehicle uh, spoiled, you, you use this one to lift it up, and then you repair, you maintain that particular thing and fix it back. This is the hydraulic jack. Then another one is the barber chair or the office chair that we use. We have them in our school too. This is the office chair. Office chair. This particular one, you are seeing it. This place is where the pole is. It has uh, this fluid inside that enables the chair to go down and go up, just like the hydraulic jack. When you sit it, in every salon, you have them, you don't sit on, on that event, they always put these ones. When you sit down, the thing will press down. While you are lifting up your weight, the thing will go up, leaving the chair. The thing will also follow you. This is the chair. They make use of this fluid. These are the examples. Then we have the movement park ride. This one is used for entertainment or center of attraction. This one turn around, and then this is a particular bearing around this area. That bearing has lubrication. The breeze or air, this hydraulic is used there that enables it to turn, and then you see that it's providing sprinkling water and all that. You see, some of them bring out light too. This is used, this, this one makes use of the hydraulic uh, too. Then we have the waterway. This one converts the energy of free flowing water, and the water enters in form of power. Then it casts blade and bucket. This one right here is where the water enters into. You see the bucket that receives the water, and then begin to turn around. This water is a hydraulic, is the, the, the liquid that is poured inside. This one too, it called waterway, it makes use of the, the, the liquid. We talked about the water wheel. We said the water wheel is also, one of the examples of these uh, hydraulic machines, that is the machines that make use of the hydraulic. Please, we are listing them one after the other. We well, sorry for that brief breaking transmission. We also need to look at others. Outside the water wheel, we have others like, uh, we don't want to go too much. There are some simple, simple tools too. We have talked about the, some of the examples that you need to know. There are other tools that we could put this liquid into that they make use of them. Before, like the steering of car and car brake too. If you do not put this liquid inside this fluid, the steering will not turn very well. They make use of this thing, car steering or vehicle steering. These are some of the examples. Then why do we use these hydraulic machines? We just want to figure out some. It is used in car brake, as total and steering system. Then the, we have the hydraulic hammer. It is used in industry for demolition. They are used as aircraft controlling devices. These are some areas we make use of these uh, hydraulic uh, devices. We are talking about all the machines. Then where are the areas we prefer them? to the pneumatic devices. We'll look at the pneumatic devices very soon. The working fluid is incompressible. That is, it does not come together. So you know that when something is big like this, it's passing through a channel, and then you force it like this, it will be a chaos, or a problem. But it is incompressible. It's just a liquid, you can't press liquid. And so spring action is always there. The spring works very well, because why it flows through the spring, it is not being pressed. The supply energy is not absorbed by the fluid. The energy that is coming, the water does not take it. It is the machine that makes use of it. These are some of the areas where it is very preferable, talking about the hydraulic machines. Then we need to also look at the pneumatic machines on the other side. From what we've discussed in hydraulic, we also look at pneumatic, meaning the study and application of the use of pressurized gas or the use of gas to produce mechanical motion. 
to, to use of gas. The other one is use of a uh, liquid or fl other fluid. Then pneumatics or pneumatic machine, they are the machine that make use of this pressurized gas to transfer power from one point to another or to do simple job. The examples of this machine, remember now one is using liquid, the other one now, the pneumatic making use of pressurized gas. Please do not forget. One is jackhammer. This jackhammer is used for demolition to destroy rock and others. It has the bit, just like the soldering iron. This is the place that is fixed. It is being connected. When you plug it, you put it there, you hear the thing will vibrate and then can demolish that particular thing. You want it to demolish. Then another one is the air compressor. It is used for inflating tires. Most of you, almost if not all of you, would have seen this air compressor. The vulcanizers, they use them. The people who call vulcanizers, where they want to inflate tire. When your tire goes down, they put a hose on it. This is the place they draw it, the handle. Then this is the place they roll it. This is the compressor. It is used to inflate tires, to put pump air into the tire. That is the work of it. So they will also have a little one. The, like the hand, the, the uh, manual one. That one, when you pull, uh, pull the handle, that one that they use, the hand, we call it hand pump. When you pull the handle, the grease will follow the flu. So, sorry, the air will enter. We pull the handle. The air will come, will come in. Then inside the cylinder, there's a cylinder there. We, you guys pulling up the handle will make air to come inside the cylinder through the handle side. Then when you press back that handle, push it now, the air will enter, will be forced into the tire. That one is the manual one. This one is used by a vulcanizer. This particular one you are seeing. They are called air compressors. All of them are pneumatic machines. They make use of air. Another one is a vacuum pump. This one is used to remove air from the body. It could be human body. This one you are seeing here. There are times somebody could be sick and they tell you that the air, there's, there's too much, there's air in your body. You need to pump that out. This one is used for it, called the a vacuum pump. Then we have another one, the bus or lorries that we know, motor, this is a motor. You've, if you have entered BRT before, you when you say stop, 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 or Baniko Road stop, once they stop, the driver will press something, you hear a sound will come. The hearing of that sound means air is being released from the cylinder of that particular vehicle and then making that door to open. This door, they make use of compressed air. That is the pneumatic we are talking about. These are buses too. Then we also have uses of pneumatic machines, like we talked about the uses of uh, hydraulic machines. For inflating tires, we have talked about the inflator or air compressor. They are used to make sound in pipe organ. When you, you the pipe organ make use of uh, air. Then jackhammer, like I told you, I just showed to you, it is called pneumatic jack. It, it is used for demolition in company, like a construction company, and even the road construction, they use it for, for demolition. They are also used for measurement of high blood pressure, that BP in medicine. If you are going to the hospital or any clinic, want to test your blood pressure, they will put something and pump it and be pumping it, the thing will be entering your that air that is coming is what is used for them it will be read in their instrument that is the pneumatic machine we're talking about then lastly we also need to look at areas where these machines are preferable advantages the machine can be easily designed unlike the hydraulic one you just use cylinder and other components to make them they are easily or easy to design then it has long operating life it lasts long and so it is not you don't fear it is reliable then it is safety. Compared to hydraulic, fire outbreak rates or chance is small because it does not really catch fire compared to that of uh, the hydraulic machines. These are the things we are, we are looking at today in this uh, lesson. Why we want to leave, we need to have a recap of what we have said. We said the hydraulic machines, they make use of liquid, like oil or gas, sorry, like oil, and water under pressure to do simple job. We have given example, we talked about the, uh, the hydraulic jack, we talked about the first pump, we talked about the garden sprinkler, the office chair, and so many others. We've also looked at the 
areas they are preferable. We said well, that's the application. We looked at some of the components too and the work. We said they are preferable in some areas. Then we also talked about the pneumatic machines. We said they make use of pressurized cars to do simple job, to do work. This one, not liquid, like the hydraulic, that's the pneumatic, they make use of gas. And we talked about some examples of the, these machines that make use of, uh, that we talked about the, uh, the one that is used to air compressor, uh, used to inflate tires. But then we talked about other uh, machines too. Then we talked about areas that are preferable, like the advantages of the pneumatic uh, machines. We said they are easy to construct or make compared to the hydraulic one. We've also said they are reliable because they last long. And we said chance of fire at rate is small. They don't really catch fire compared to that of uh, the hydraulic uh, machines. These are the things we looked at in course of fire. Remember, hydraulic machines make use of liquid like the oil or water. Why pneumatic machines make use of pressurized gas? They make use of air, not liquid this time. This is major difference between the two of them too. Till we, uh, we meet again. Remember, bless. Thank you very much and uh, stay safe.